everyone. So today I decided to do another look using my Natasha Denona Star Palette. This is the beautiful thing here and it's looking pretty janky after only two uses. It's got glitter all over the place, I've got fingerprints all over it, but I am loving this palette you guys. I am really really happy with it. I came up with this look here. My idea for this look was that I was going to do a more neutral everyday look since yesterday's look was pretty spicy. I would wear this for every day. The lip definitely brings it up a notch. And I really enjoy just sitting down and creating, you know, like just playing with my makeup and just makes me feel really good. So I will be doing a full review on the palette because I think that it's something that a lot of people are going to get a lot of use out of and will really enjoy. Keep in mind that you can totally tone it down a notch. You don't have to have the brown liner and the waterline. You can swap that out for a nude and you can swap the lip out for a nude and it will look like really neutral, beautiful for every day. So let's jump into the tutorial. Hey guys, so today is going to be the second tutorial that I'm doing using my Natasha Denona Star Palette. Today I think I'm going to be using maybe these colours here. I kind of want to do something using that beautiful like peachy bronzy shade. So I'm starting off as usual with my MAC Soft Oak Paint Pot. Quite difficult for me to try and like come up with a look that didn't use those red shades because they're so beautiful. On a fluffy brush I'm just going to be taking like this peachy shade and I'm just going to be putting that all into the crease with no real rhyme or reason. Now with a more precise blending brush I'm going to be going into this shade here and then I will be dipping into this darker brown on the outer corner. Today I'm going to be doing more of a rounded eye shape as opposed to the other look that I did which was more angular and um, cat eye. Now with that darker brown shade that I pointed to earlier, I'm going to be taking it on the same brush but focusing that more on the outer third of the eye, keeping that round shape, try not to drag it out too much. Now on a flat brush I'm going to be taking that bright shimmery shade down here which is beautiful. I don't think I'm going to need a glitter base but we shall find out because this isn't one of the crystal shades, this is one of the metallics. So I'm just taking my, cl my lit, Clearly Liquid glitter base here into the cap so that I don't contaminate the bottle and then I'm just taking like a little craft brush that I have here and just putting a little bit of that all over my lid working pretty quickly because this base dries really fast. You can just see immediately like how much more bright and vibrant that colour is now that we've put the glitter base down. I don't think you need to put a glitter base down. I would suggest if you didn't have a glitter base or couldn't be bothered working with a glitter base, you could definitely just use like a MAC Fix Plus and just like wet the shadow while it's on your brush. I would totally do that. I just don't have any right on me. Alright, so now that that's down, I'm reassessing my eyes and I think I want to add a little bit more depth into the outer corner. So I'm just taking that dark brown again and just really packing it onto the outer corner and blending it in with that shade on the lid to make a really smooth transition. I'm bringing the shadow up a little bit into the front of my brow. I just really like the look that that gives to a simple eye look. It kind of makes it look a little bit more edgy, a little bit more grungy. So now that we are done with that part of the eyes, I'm just gonna be taking like a makeup wipe and some bioderma and just cleaning up underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna be taking my makeup forever smoothing primer and pressing it into the center of my face. I definitely took too much. <laughs> now to be extra excessive I'm going to be taking some of my hydrating primer by Makeup Forever and I'm going to be putting that on the places where I didn't put the smoothing primer. You need a lot less of the hydrating primer because it definitely goes further than the smoothing primer. <laughs> now I'm going to be taking my favourite foundation that you can easily get which is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Now I'm going to be taking a combo of my Urban Decay Naked Concealer and Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC. Dang it, I'm running low.
So now I'm just taking some of my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And I'm not baking, but I'm just pressing that into the skin with my beauty blender. So now I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. This is my medium brown dip brow. Oh, hit cakes. Why do I always throw things on this fucking table? This is my medium brow dip brow by Anastasia. So I'm going to be taking, this seems kind of excessive, but I'm going to be taking the contour shades from both of these L'Oreal Infallible Sculpt. These are cream to powder highlighters, and I like this shade for bronzing, and I like this shade for contouring. So I'm going to be taking a bit of a combo. I don't like the highlighting shades in either of them, to be honest. I feel like they just don't really sit well on the skin, but I really like the texture of the contouring powders. Abort. I don't know what happened there, but it totally took off the foundation on my face where I had placed this. So I don't actually think that I'm going to be using those or recommending them. I thought that it looked fine maybe when I'm using like a thicker foundation, but definitely with this one, like it just pulled up all of my foundation where I was blending it. And you could see my skin. Even now, this is driving me crazy. Man, I've used them before and they looked absolutely fine, so I don't know what happened. But I ain't gonna play with fire. I don't wanna ruin my makeup. So I'm gonna be pressing and setting that foundation now so that it hopefully stays down where I put it and then I'm just going to use a powder bronzer, I think. I'm so gutted. Damn. I really liked those things too and I was wondering why the light shades were pulling out my foundation but the dark shades weren't and maybe it was just because maybe I wasn't looking close enough at the mirror or I don't know maybe I was being too rough either way I don't want anything to do with it so I'm going to be taking my shade and light palette and I'm just going to be taking a mixture of these two shades here which is my normal contouring routine and one that doesn't pull up my foundation mmm <laughs> it looks so much better my hair looks a little bit crazy today. I curl it and usually it looks really good by like the second day and then like the fourth day it's like, what's going on? Now I'm just gonna be taking that shade with the cool toned one of those and just contouring my nose slightly. I definitely don't like a sharp nose contour but I feel like my nose looks huge when I haven't contoured it. You know, like you just get like sucked into these fucking fads and then you can't stop doing it and it's like, damn it. I have a pretty bulbous nose anyway, so <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's a good thing for me to contour. I'm going to be taking some of my ambient lighting powders and just like putting them all together and using that to set my face. And I'm going to be taking one of the Makeup Geek highlighters. I think I'm going to be taking the shade Luster, which is this beautiful like pinky tan rose shade and I've got a better brush this time. This time I'm using my makeup collective number 16 which is just like a a more dense fluffy brush. My blush I'm going to be using not that one. My why do I keep doing that? <laughs> My Becca uh, blush and flower child. <laughs> did I say this makeup look was going to be wearable? I feel like I did. I feel like I built you up. And I'm bringing you crashing back down. For me, this is totally everyday wearable. And I haven't even finished my eyes yet. But I love the drama. I don't do my makeup unless it's a big event. I just I just go for it, man. This is the coffee liner from Ardency Inn, and Ardency Inn make my favorite pencil liners for sure. They dry really quickly, um, and they last all day. So now I'm just blending out. Now with a little bit of pencil, I'm just going to be doing the outer third of my upper lash line. 
and I'm going to be taking that pencil brush again with no extra product and just like softening that out. What this is going to do with all of that heaviness underneath, this is just going to start to lift the eye back up a little bit because it started to look a little bit like it was drooping. Okay, so now that that is all done and we're kind of left with like this smoky, intense makeup look that I said was everyday wearable, I'm going to be putting on my mascara. This one is the Superhero Mascara from It Cosmetics. And I kind of did like a first impression on this yesterday. And I just don't, still don't really know how I feel about it. Like, it's not bad, it's just not great. I'm just going to be doing second coat just on the top lashes. I'm going to leave the bottom lashes exactly how they are. Alrighty, I'm just going to put a little bit of colour onto the inner corner. And I'm just going to be using the highlighter that I used before, which was Lustre. Because there's not really like just a shimmery light shade in the Natasha Denona palette. There's only that really glittery one that I used yesterday. So I think that that's it for the eyes. Now for the lips. What do I feel like? This is Ginger from Kylie Cosmetics. And it is probably my favourite liquid lipstick shade of all time. Alrighty, so I think that I am done with this makeup look. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I love any excuse to wear this lip colour. It is my favourite lip colour ever. It reminds me a lot of Lolita. It's probably a very similar colour. My Lolita is all gone, so I am pretty happy with how this turned out. I'm just going to fix my brow because that is driving me crazy. I'm just going <laughs> to take my brow wiz because I can't be bothered getting out my dip brow again. And I'm pretty sure I threw it on the floor earlier. Phew. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out and watching this second look. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.